Raffi's absolutely right. You know Raffi, right? I mean, if you've ever been around any small children ever, Baby Beluga, that's a Raffi song, Banana Phone, and of course, One Light, One Sun. And he's absolutely right. There's one sun and there's one world. One sun, one earth. There's only one. Sure, okay, the sun is a star, and there's a bazillion of those in the universe. And sure, the earth is a planet, and there's a bazillion of those, unless you don't count Pluto. We count Pluto. It's a planet. <laughs> did, you see, did you see, though, by the way, uh, not that long ago, uh, NASA or uh, one of those sciencey guys said that they discovered a planet uh, that is very much like the earth. I think it was last year. Um, they discovered a planet that's very much like the Earth and can sustain life. And uh, when we, one day we might go there, you know, kind of like Star Trek. Um, and, but it'll take us a very long time, of course, to get there uh, because it's very far away. And if you assume that the space-time continuum is linear, then it's very far to go. Unless, of course, you think it's all coexisting at one point in time. And then it's like we're already there. But anyway, I didn't really understand that either. It's okay. Uh, but anyway, it's very much like the earth, but it's not the earth, because there's only one. There is only one, and there's only one sun, only one, and we're like that too, right? There's, there's loads of people, but there's only one of you, and there's only one of me, thank goodness. There's only one. What do we do with that? So does that, mean, does that mean that you're so special, you shouldn't share you with anyone? Or does it mean you're so special, you should definitely share that with everyone? Think about uh, if, you, if you lived uh, on a street where all the houses were exactly the same, he said, hoping no one lives in a subdivision. Anyway, if you live in a place where all the houses were exactly the same, right down to how they were, the, what was inside them, you know, if you had your own room, but it was exactly like all the other rooms in the house, how would you ever know which one was yours? Nothing's unique. Nothing says you. But if, if you were to take that you and share it with other people, think of how amazing that would make everything. All the houses, all the rooms and everything would be different, wouldn't they? Just like all the planets are different. And what a cool universe that makes. See, I think that's what Jesus means when he starts telling people things like, you should be like salt and light. Is he means you should be something that, that adds flavor and color to things. You should be the thing that lights up the world around you. Don't sit in a corner. Get out there and do that. And what an amazing world that would be. Uh, hang on a second. That would create a world, wouldn't it, where everyone was just like me, because I shared me with them, right? So you got to remember the two sides. It's not just about you sharing you. It's about you being open to other people sharing with you. That's what creates the colorful world. That's what makes the world an interesting place. That's what makes the world a place where I, I don't know, for instance, I, I don't bake. I don't bake. I don't like to bake. Uh, I, I, nothing turns out right for me. But other people can. So I do something else, and I eat their baking. That's a hint. <laughs> do you see what I mean, though? You can do things that I can't do. I can do things you can't do. Wouldn't it be a terrible world if we didn't share that? Wouldn't it be boring? Wouldn't it be boring if the whole world was all exactly the same? See, I think that's, what, that's an important thing. That Jesus teaches us not just to, to be there for other people and to find time for, for presence with other people. It's about sharing, too. It's about sharing who we are with others and allowing them to share themselves with us. That's what being salt and light in the world is about. It's a, it's a cool phrase to say, 
but the living out of it is, is just so much greater. It's an amazing thing. Because, because the thing is, as much as we are all one, we are all unique. We're all individual. We're all who we are. And that's what makes that oneness so amazing. That's what makes that oneness so colorful, so bright. One, one sun, one earth, but all of us together making that.